Hello friends, welcome to Lug Life. My name is Adam and welcome back to our Sunday cooking videos. Now today we're going to be making a recipe that I'm super excited about because this is one of the foods that I have been craving since we started keto and I think I figured out a way to make this keto. Today we are making shredded beef enchiladas. I was texting with Auburn recently and she said that they made enchiladas and just like even seeing that word come across my screen just like made me want them so so bad. So she sent me the recipe of what she used. Now I don't have all of the ingredients and all the same things that they did uh, so I'm kind of gonna like put something together that's a little bit different, a little bit our own, but fingers crossed it's gonna be really good. And uh, let me show you what we need for this. Here are the ingredients. Now, I'm not using a low carb tortilla. I'm actually using these egg wraps with cauliflower. Um, one of you, I think it was Chantel, said that she uses these for enchiladas. So I'm gonna give them a try. We haven't used them. I'm not sure how they are, fingers crossed they're delicious. So that's what I'm gonna use in place of the tortilla. And then for the filling, I found this actually at Costco today. I've never seen this before. It is basically like a bagged shredded beef, says product of Brazil. Um, I love, love, love shredded beef. So these are gonna be like a shredded beef enchilada. Very excited for that. I'm gonna cook up some green peppers, gonna cook up some onions, uh, some mushrooms in there. And then I found this uh, Frontera red chili enchilada sauce. Now most enchilada of sauces I've looked at are super, super high in carbs, but I looked at this one and it only has three grams of carbs uh, and there's four servings in this entire bag. So 12 grams of carbs in this entire thing, super happy with that, but that's not going to be enough enchilada sauce. Now, rather than using two bags of this, which would double the amount of carbs, I actually need to go to the store and get one more item I'll tell you about here in a second. Uh, and then of course, I'm going to top it all with, well, cheese because it's cheese. Why would I not add as much cheese as possible? So you guys, shredded beef, enchiladas, keto style, fingers crossed, these are delicious. But as I mentioned, we actually do need to go to the grocery store because the item that I am going to mix this with is sour cream and we don't have any. Now, some of you guys have seen my enchilada casserole recipe that I have posted on this channel, I think a long time ago, not keto by the way. Uh, what I do for that recipe is I cut enchilada sauce with cream of mushroom soup. I love how it still has that delicious enchilada flavor, but it also is, adds this like creaminess to it. Uh, since I can't use cream of mushroom soup because it's super high in carbs, I'm gonna go with some sour cream and we're gonna do like half sour cream, half enchilada sauce. I think it might kind of give it a similar sort of taste uh, so excited to try that so let's go to the grocery store get the one last ingredient that we need and then come home and make dinner okay this should be a fast trip we only need one thing I keep telling myself that Adam you're only here for one thing you're only here for one thing so let's see if I can leave the store only buying one thing. Okay, listen, don't judge me. Sherry wants some treats, and we've been loving these Atkins desserts, and she likes the lemon bars. She's never had the birthday cake ones, so I'm getting Sherry some treats. So these are for Sherry, not for me. So that's okay, right? Okay, here is the sour cream. Now let's see what we want. I think this one is perfect. All natural sour cream. One gram of carbs per two tablespoons. I think that will work. Oh man, I just found these sugar-free strawberry jello packs. There's zero carbs in these too. Ugh, I'm gonna get one of these as well. Okay, so maybe I'm getting a few more items than I came for, but it's okay. That wasn't too bad. I only got a few more items than I wanted. All right. Now we have everything we need to make our shredded beef enchiladas. First thing I'm gonna do is actually cut up uh, some onions and some green peppers and dice up some mushrooms. And I'm just gonna get those cooking in a pan together. You know what? I'm gonna throw some garlic in there because, well, you guys know me. Also, just so you know, I got my oven preheating to 350 degrees. Now to cut some veggies. Sorry, that was that was more aggressive with a knife than, than I intended to be. And for this, I am just gonna dice my peppers and my onions. So the green peppers, all chopped up. Now we are going to dice up one onion. And again, on the onions, we're doing the exact same thing, just dicing them up like so. I think that will be the perfect amount. Now I am gonna cut up some mushrooms in this as well. And again, same thing with the mushrooms, 
Just gonna dice them up. I am gonna leave them a little bit bigger than the onions and peppers, just because these mushrooms are just gonna wilt down so much as they cook. Now, if you're not a mushroom fan, you absolutely do not have to use these. These mushrooms are just, well, they're on their last life. And so I wanted to at least use up as many of them as I could. I used a lot of them in a frittata a couple days ago. And so I just have some left here. So I thought, you know what? Adds a little bit more filler to these enchiladas. So let's use them up. Boom, look at that. I think this looks perfect. Those have been added to the pan. Now I'm going to uh, chop up some garlic. Now I don't really want like the whole cloves like I used in a recipe on our vlog. Um, earlier this week. So I'm just gonna smash these up and then I'm probably just gonna cut these into like eighths, I'd say. Uh, I still kinda want bigger pieces. I just, I love garlic. And so to me, like getting bites that just have delicious, delicious garlic in there are my absolute favorite. So there we go, there's our garlic cloves. And I'm just going to run a knife through these like that, maybe rough chop them one more time the other way. And that to me, I think is perfect. Those are all in there getting happy together. These are gonna take just a few minutes. I do wanna cook them down until they're not quite so crunchy. I don't want so much of a snap on those veggies. So we're gonna probably give them, I'd say three to five minutes in here to cook. Next thing I'm gonna do is get the sauce ready. So I'm going to take this one pack of the Frontera red chili enchilada sauce put it in the bowl, and then I'm gonna start with one cup of the sour cream and see how that looks and see uh, just kind of how the ratio is. So again, we're gonna take probably about a cup of this, and then we are just going to whisk this together and see the consistency, the taste, see how it is. Now, one reason I like doing this, you guys know that Sherry is not a huge fan of spicy, and some enchilada sauces, even mild ones, can have a little bit too much spice for her. So cutting it with like cream of mushroom soup or with sour cream or anything like that still gives you that enchilada sauce flavor, but it kind of takes away a little bit of the bite, makes it a little bit creamy, which we really like. All right, so that's how it looks. Let's see the moment of truth. How does it taste? Yep, absolutely perfect. And the next thing I'm going to do is warm up the beef. Now I've never used this before. I don't know how it is. Fingers crossed it is good. Um, but it does say on the back, you can just microwave this up. So I'm gonna open this and get one of these things of meat warmed up in the microwave. This is how the shredded beef looks right out of the container, right out of the bag. You can see it looks like probably some pieces of fat on there that I'm sure are going to melt as soon as we microwave it. So let's go warm this up. Now it says 90 seconds. Um, we'll see, I mean, that does not seem like long to warm that up, but we'll check it after 90 seconds, give it a stir and see if it needs longer. Checking in over here and these are looking Perfect. Oh, and it smells so, so good. So I think that these actually are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off on those. Now what I've heard about these is that they're really thin, kind of like crepes, which again, the name would allude to. So I'm actually gonna use two of them per enchilada, kind of double them up a little bit. However, if they do fall apart, that's okay. We will just eat it like a casserole. So we'll see if they hold their shape like an enchilada in a normal tortilla. If they don't, totally fine with that. We'll just eat like a casserole, but that is the plan. Microwave is done over here. Let's take this out and see how it is. Keeping in mind that this is still going to be cooked in the oven for about, oh, about 25 or 30 minutes. Um, gosh, you guys, it actually looks really, really good. Let me take a quick bite and see how it is. Again, I've never had this product, didn't know it existed, was walking through Costco today and saw it and I thought, you know what, let's get it. Just a bag of shredded beef. It's actually really good. Like that's, that's exactly what shredded beef is supposed to taste like. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to that, but that is it. Okay, a little bit surprised by this. And just so you guys know, I used less than half of the bag for this. So I still have another whole half of the bag. I'm sorry, I don't remember how much it was. Uh, I don't think it was that expensive, but this is a new product that I would definitely, definitely get again. So what I'm gonna do now is actually just take my shredded beef and I'm gonna dump it in and mix it in with my veggies. You guys can see that there. Now you obviously wouldn't have to do this. You wouldn't have to mix them together. You wouldn't even have to use veggies in this if you didn't want to. Uh, my thought is just for the assembling of the enchiladas, 
This will make it a little bit easier if everything is mixed together. I just got on my first two of the egg wraps. You can see I have two of them here. I do think using two is gonna be the right move because they're just so thin. I mean, honestly, even um, with two of them, it's still really, really thin, but I think this will work good. So I'm going to fill them with a little bit of this mixture. I'm going to add a little bit of cheese in there, and then I'm gonna roll them up put them in here and then i'm going to top the top it all with that enchilada sauce and then a bunch more cheese so i don't think i'm gonna be able to vlog and show you guys this um so i'll show you the finished products i've got the first one done just wanted to show you kind of how much i'm filling them so now i'm gonna roll this up and uh fingers crossed it closes and stays together you guys look at that it is perfect now we just have to do all of the rest of them um i'm sorry what Look at how good those look. Also, I made a little bit too much filling. That's okay. That's going to be... I'm going to melt some cheese over that. And that's just going to be like a snack. So I'm not mad at that. But look at this. And I still have a few of those left. So I didn't even use as many of those as I thought. Now, let's do enchilada sauce over the top and top it with cheese. I would say that feels like an adequate amount of cheese. You know what? There's a little spot over here I can see. There we go. That makes me feel better. Now, this bad boy is going to go in the oven. Um, I'm going to say for... 20 minutes since everything in there is already cooked. Now I do have some concerns about the egg wraps holding up. Not gonna lie about that, uh, especially with adding the enchilada sauce right over to the top of them. Uh, we'll see if they hold up. Again, if they don't, we're just gonna like cut it as like a casserole. So either way, I think it's gonna be delicious. But now let's get back to this little beauty over here. Kind of scoop everything to the center. We're gonna turn the heat back on. I'm gonna take some of this cheese. And we are going to go just right over the top, like so. Oh, no, we are definitely not done with cheese yet. Some of you guys are like, Adam, were you done with cheese? No, of course not. Okay, one more, just for fun. Now, let's let that melt away. I don't have a lid for this pan, or else I would totally just kind of cover it so that all this cheese on top would melt. But look at this. Look at how cheesy and delicious. In fact, I'm gonna take this bite right there. I was gonna say, let's see how it is, but you guys, we know how this is gonna be, right? Like there's no doubt how this is going to be. Well, it's gonna be hot. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be hot. Oh my gosh. I just dropped some, it's fine. Mm, mm hmm So I'm gonna put this in a container in the fridge and that for sure is gonna be a snack later. And while dinner's finished up in the oven, I'm going to put the rest of the dishes from food prep in the dishwasher so that as soon as we eat, the kitchen is all clean and done. I feel good about that. We haven't even eaten dinner yet, but the dishwasher is loaded. There's a little bit of space left in there for any dishes from dinner. Things are cleaned. I actually cleaned the stove earlier, cleaned all the countertops earlier. Finished all of our laundry, even like the bed stuff upstairs, the duvet cover, like everything has been clean. I'm feeling really good. I What else did I do? Oh, I vacuumed the house. I think tomorrow I'm going to mop the floors. Uh, I wanna do all the floors, do some dusting. I'm feeling really good. Today was like a super, super productive day, which makes me feel good. I got to listen to some podcasts. Well, one podcast. And you guys, I've got to talk to you about this. Where are my true crime podcast friends at? I'm looking for the name of it. Um, I'm listening to The Apology Line. Holy cow. Uh, it's a crazy story. I'd never heard of this before. Apparently in the early 80s, a guy in New York City like set up this totally anonymous line, a line that people could call in like a phone line and basically apologize anonymously for stuff they had done. And so imagine some of the stuff that started calling in. And this podcast is about some of the things that were called in, uh, as well as what it's doing like mentally to the guy who set the line up, having to listen to all of this stuff. Super fascinating to me. Uh, if you are into true crime kind of stuff, maybe a podcast you'd love listening to. Uh, I listened to the first two episodes that are out today as I was folding laundry upstairs and I flew through them and I went to listen to the third and it was like only two episodes are out and I was like, no! I imagine that's how Sherry feels with books. Like she gets to the end of a book and they're just like, book number three will be released in the fall. And it's like, no, I don't wanna wait. 
Ah, that's why I'm with this podcast. But really productive day, got a ton of stuff done, feeling really good about where things are at. Sherry Beth is still healing up. Uh, today was another not backwards, maybe kind of a little bit forward sort of day. I think we're going to record a podcast um, tonight. So if you don't know, we have the Leg Life Podcast and it already has over a thousand listens to the podcast episodes, which is insane to us. We are not podcasters. We are still learning this out. We're still very much in the infancy of this. We're having a ton of fun. Sherry's doing such a good job over there. She's really enjoying it. Uh, but if you are interested in the Leg Life podcast, I will link it down below. I think the episode we're going to record tonight is on extroverts and introverts. So if you are watching this on Sunday, the podcast will have gone up yesterday on Saturday. So it is up. Go check it out. Link down below. We have five minutes until our enchiladas are done and fingers crossed dinner is delicious. Timer is going off here on the stove. We're gonna turn that off. Yep, fancy Mickey oven mitt. And now we are going to pull this out. Moment of truth. Oh boy, it smells just like you want enchiladas to smell like. Okay, so far, so good. Now, because I'm not sure how these are gonna hold up, I'm actually gonna put them in these bowls. This is one of those things where it's like, okay, I'm gonna vlog this but I don't know how it's going to go. Fingers crossed this goes all right. So let's see if they're able to come out like an actual enchilada. Oh, so far, it actually looks like it's holding up okay. Let's see, moment of truth. Oh, actually, not too bad. It held up definitely better than I expected. And you guys know that we are eating upstairs because Sherry's still not feeling well and it's easier for her up there. So I'm gonna take these upstairs. We're gonna have dinner and see how they are. I almost forgot to turn off the oven. Does anybody else do that? Just like you turn off the timer, you take whatever you have in the oven out and then you just forget to turn the oven off and then you realize that you've been running the oven for like six hours. Whoops. Oh, and also, yeah, I know that it's really late, like 9.30 to be making dinner. We just haven't been hungry and just, well, I just have a bunch of excuses. For those of you wondering kind of how it looks, here is how it looks. You can see they clearly held together. I'm, I'm shocked by that. But I think these are gonna be really good. They smell delicious. They smell just like enchiladas. Sherry's had her first bite, so I'm going to cut off my first bite and uh, let's see how this is. Okay, moment of truth. Okay, um, this is gonna be hard to critique. Yeah. Because what did you say, Sherry? Um, so the egg wrap to me kind of gives me like an omelet vibe. Yeah. And so it's just, it kind of feels like a stuffed omelet. Like, but the flavors aren't something that you would usually have in an omelet. And so it's, yeah. um, it's like, it's weird. It's good. I like it. It's like an enchilada omelet. Yeah. It's weird. It's really weird <laughs> because yeah, the egg wrap, um, it has, I guess maybe a tortilla-ish consistency. It's not bad, um, but it, it, it's eggy. It's eggy. It's clearly egg, and it just it just seems like a thin omelet. Mm hmm. Weird. It's weird. I okay. do like it. Like I would I would eat this again. I would eat this again. Um, I will say though, if I made this next time, I love everything about it. I don't dislike this meal at all. Mm -mm. I would eat it just like this again. But knowing that we have like low carb tortillas. I would make this with the low carb tortillas. Yeah, for sure. Uh, just wanted to use the egg wraps because we hadn't used them, didn't know what they were like. I don't dislike them at all. Right. That's one thing I will say, like I don't dislike the egg wraps at all. Um, I think they're good. The enchilada flavor in this is good. Is it too spicy for you? Mm, it's really good. The, ve the veggies in there are great. The meat is really good. Uh, I'm super happy with this meal, but I kind of had the same first reaction as Sherry did because you take a bite and it's almost like enchilada omelet, uh -huh. almost. Now, here's what I'll say. If anybody out there owns a restaurant, you may want to look into an enchilada omelet <laughs> because this is actually pretty delicious. Right. So we're gonna go finish dinner. Dinner's done. Time for the final thoughts from Sherry and I. Sherry Beth, mm -hmm. let me hear your final thoughts on the egg wrap enchilada dinner. I thought it was really good. Okay, out of 10, what would you give it? Oh, like an eight? Oh, okay. <laughs> It was really good. It had really good, um, like the the innards were really yummy. Um, <laughs> Such an unappetizing <laughs> word. 
<laughs> How was dinner? Oh, the innards were delicious. Mm -hmm. um, the egg wrap was kind of weird. Uh -huh. We were saying that I think that if we did the egg wrap again, we'd probably use more traditional like omelet ingredients. Yeah, I think that that's the key to those egg wraps. Like, yeah. I would use them for sure. I would buy them again. Right. But filled with like ham and cheese and onions and peppers. Yeah, that would delicious. be delicious. I think that would be really good. Yep. Um, it, this was really good, but mm -hmm. it was a little bit weird. Mm -hmm. Um, just because the enchilada filling didn't really go well with the egg. I think it wasn't it, too. It went okay, but it was just weird. It was like two flavors you're not used to here or tasting together. Right. Totally. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things I told Sherry that I felt like it got better the more I ate it. Yeah. Because it was almost like at first you're like, wait a second, what are those two flavors together? But then you kind of get used to it and it's like, oh, this is this is good. Mm -hmm. Now I will say I'm really excited to try the leftovers because I have a hunch that the longer those egg wraps sit in that enchilada sauce, the more that they're gonna like absorb that mm -hmm. and it's gonna be really good tomorrow. So I think this is gonna make really good leftovers. Yeah, I think so. Would you do this meal again? Yes, I would. Just as is? As is, but I would also want to do this with just the low-carb tortilla wraps. I agree. There is nothing else I would change about this. The beef, what do you think of the beef? We've never gotten that it before. It was really good. It was good. So yeah. the beef, the onions, the mushrooms, the peppers, uh, the cheese, the enchilada sauce, I thought everything else was just perfect. Yep. The only thing that was a little strange was the way that the egg wraps uh, went with everything. Again, we'd probably use the low-carb tortillas next time, but if this was all we had, I'm not mad nope. because one of the things that I was just thinking about this, uh, I feel like I had enchiladas. I know that sounds weird, but it's something I've been craving ever since Auburn texted and said that enchiladas. I'm like, dang it. I want enchiladas. <laughs> I feel like I had enchiladas. Yep. Um, yeah, they were really good. So friends, that's where we're going to end this vlog, another cooking video. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, for this video again, totally keto. Don't know what the carb count is on this, but I know that there were no carbs in the beef. I know there were no carbs in the egg wraps. I know that. There, and so like, honestly, it was really low and it was super delicious. Definitely me will do again. I'm really happy. I'm full and we have leftovers. Gosh, darn it. Friends, we love you guys. We'll see you on the next leg life video.